Torticollis is defined as muscle tightness of the sternocleidomastoid on one side of the neck. It's this muscle here that comes from behind the ear to the clavicle. And this can cause tilted head to the same side that it's tied and rotation of the head to the opposite side. The posture of the head to one side can cause more development delays because the baby is going to have a hard time tracking toys on both sides. And also it's going to be hard for them to lift the head up when doing tummy time. Your baby can develop a preference to roll over one side. This could be happening because it is easier to activate one side of the body over the other one. For example, if your baby has a preference to roll on their left side, these muscles are being activated and the ones in touch with the floor are being elongated or stretched. Help your baby to roll over on the side they don't prefer to. Reaching out for a toy and also you can help from the hips. This way they're now activating these muscles and elongating this. When doing tummy time, facilitate reaching toys with both hands. This will promote weight shifting on the opposite arm and this way they can lift one arm off the ground to reach and grab a toy. One way to facilitate this is by putting your hand under their armpit or by stabilizing the shoulder with your hand on top of it. These weight shifting skills that are practiced early on when doing tummy time will help with crawling and cruising which requires shifting the weight to one side to be able to move the other side forward or sideways. When children have their neck tied, for example, on the right side or the head is tilted to the right, sometimes when sitting, they tend to shift their weight to the left side because the right side of their trunk can be tied. You can help your baby reach a toy on one side crossing midline, in this case, with the left arm, so they elongate this side that tends to be shorter and activate more the opposite side of their body. When your baby is crawling up and down the stairs, make sure they use both legs. For example, if they use the right leg all the time to climb up, you can be behind them to shift the weight to the right so they can bring the left leg up. You can do this by stabilizing the right hip or by putting your hand on the knee. The same when crawling down the stairs. If they mostly use the left leg to go down, help them to shift their weight to the left so they go down with the opposite leg. Provide to your child the opportunity to explore their environment in different positions. Try to reduce the time spent on their back or the car seat and motivate them to experiment movement using the arm or leg that they don't prefer to use. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And I'll see you the next time. Bye.